Hi, I'm Vicki Moore. I'm a member of the Camden County Library Astronomy Club and we're celebrating 100 hours of astronomy. Okay, these are some handouts that we're giving to the kids when they come in. Um, and handouts over here on the table about astronomy for adults. Um, we've had a good crowd so far. We've only started, what, a half hour ago? Doing pretty good. Hi, how are you today? Would you like to sign in right there? You guys got name tags? Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, there's one. If you go in there, um, I didn't know who I was going to... We're inside the exhibit room. The first thing we have is a live feed for uh, the Heavens Above website that we're going to also put up the 100 hours of astronomy. We have a display on the moon. We have a display on things in the sky, interesting objects. The ISS tell we have the Behringer Meteor Crater information, Griffith Observatory, Lick Observatory, JPL, the VLA, Big Bear Solar, just information on the different publications. This is our Palomar Mountain display. Um, Photographic, you can't see it in this, but photographic, copies of photographic plates from Palomar. Uh, information on Palomar. These are our pretty picture deep sky objects. Oops, it's gone. Posters. Some artistic, some photographic. We have information on sky charts, star time, a sidereal clock, star charts, the Messier objects. We have a PowerPoint program running on our two years of our astronomy club here at the Camden County Library, which is going all day. We have this is our Mount Wilson observatory area. Um, a glass plate of a shot of the moon, a Mount Wilson calendar, uh, 150 foot and 60 foot telescopes, the 100 inch telescope, the 60 inch telescope. And we have some door prizes. We are um, going to raffle off door prizes like one, one every hour. So early, early people get more chances. What is this? Telescope Valley? Say hi, Wally. Hi there. Welcome to Astronomy Day here at the Camden County Library. Okay. Sponsored by the Astronomy Club of the Camden County Library. Okay, we're going to walk down to the end of Telescope Valley here. <laughs> We've had a bunch, of, and this is Don Prettyman. Don, I almost got you. There you are. Yep. <laughs> and Clark, what you got there? That's a, a vintage uh, C8, orange C8 from the uh, 70s. From the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> Holy but goody. Holy but goody. Yep. yep. When I worked for the uh, planetarium and ran their... Um, Telescope sales. I got to be a direct representative with Celestron. Oh! So I got to go out to uh, their meetings. They would have once a year, and, stuff. and so they let me pick out one of them. Pick you? Yeah. Nice, they got a good one. Uh, nice <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They got a good one. I got it all. Yeah. Years. Uh huh. And that's not quite ready yet, huh? And what do we have here? What do we have here? Um, so this is Celestron. 11 inch reflector. That's yours, Don? Yeah. Oh, Wally? Yeah. Wally? Yeah. Well, get in there so we can see you and your telescope together, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is going on the web. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to put this all on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> we've had, Did we've you enjoy had, your day? We've had a, we've had a, Would you like to tell you how you enjoyed your day? Yes, that is very interesting. Adam, what do you think? 
<laughs> he was thoroughly intrigued as well. Yeah. Great, glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah, come by, come by this evening. We're this is a, yeah. this is a remade 16-inch uh, dab that's turned into a Serrier truss and yeah. redone by Jim Strogen. Yeah, I built, built, rebuilt, rebuilt. It. That's what I said, rebuilt. Yeah, rebuilt it. Uh, it was a, it was a 16-inch dab. Uh, rebuilt completely. Uh, it now tracks and it has go to when it put in your laptop. It'll actually slew the objects by itself. And our next. We've got various telescopes down here. The next one is a. Next one is a, a white light solar telescope. So you can get the image in it yet? Or we got too much cloud right now? We got too much cloud right now. It's a cool little handy little telescope for observing the sun it's in good white for, it's light. It's good for classrooms and things like that because it, because it projects an image of the sun so a number of people can see it at the same time. And our next solar telescope. Next one is a, is a homemade solar telescope with an uncoated mirror at the bottom and a, and a, a, a coated, the secondary is actually a, a, two, a double, doubly coated a uh, piece of flat glass at the top. Uh, the next, the next telescope here is, uh, is a hydrogen alpha setup, a Coronado filter at the top uh, on a uh, uh, F5 80 millimeter Brandon, and gives a nice image of the of the sun and hydrogen alpha, so you can see prominences and and. Uh, Sunspot activity, flare activity, things like that on the sun. And we got one more <laughs> over here. And <coughs> this is a four-inch F9 Mead refractor on a on a computerized go-to mount. Right now, we're looking at a church steeple over here, about <laughs> half a mile over in town. Oh yeah, and wait a minute. <laughs> since since this one's the farthest way, one away from everything, we kind of put this on the church steeple so it doesn't have to move the rest of the day. Oh, there's a church steeple. Yep. Uh huh. Yep. Okay. This one doesn't require require someone to stand here and explain it to people. But this one you've got go to on. Uh... This one is computerized go to. And we'll hopefully be able to use that tonight if the oh, I hope weather, so. weather's too okay, We have to go back and get uh, Lenses and mirrors. It's a refractor and a reflector mixed together. Oh. And uh, it's by Orion, inch. huh? It's a four inch Orion. Four inch Orion, yeah. yeah. It's grab and go. I'll take it with me everywhere on, on the road. Nice little telescope. It's been well, here we are out at Telescope Valley again. We got a new group of people. So we're just going to go say hi to people. Oh, you have a sunspotter. Cool. Cycle, so it's in a cool cycle now. And still, yeah, yeah. It's cool. yeah it's like, it's warm up in the summer? Well, uh, no. It should be. It should be going into it. It's uh, not for a while there. They kind of sink up. That of Earth's tip is going up and sun activity is going up. We're celebrating the 400th anniversary of Galileo's first observation of the heavens. And this is worldwide. 129 countries is going on in. Today. Right now, yes. Right now. <laughs> uh, that's right. 